Well, today we're going to be doing some cooking videos. I haven't done any cooking videos in quite a while. So I'm going to go ahead and throw one in the mix. And today we killed a deer, or I killed a deer about, about a week ago. It's been aging in the cooler and in the refrigerator. And we're going to go ahead and make some pulled pork taco meat. So it's going to be good. All right, so we're making pulled Mexican style deer meat for tacos. And I've done this with pork a lot and it is really good. And all right, so we've got some deer meat here that uh, is off a deer I shot. It's been about a week ago, a little over. And I've been letting it age in the refrigerator. And I've got a whole video on that, on aging my meat and stuff. And what we're gonna do, we've got chili powder, paprika, ground cumin, cumin, whatever you say, the onion powder, and some garlic powder. So that's about my ratio of cumin, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, salt, three cloves of fresh garlic, and zest of one lime. So we're gonna do this in the slow cooker today. And we're gonna take, I've kind of messed around, it's getting a little bit late. So I'm gonna go ahead and if you wanna do this in a hurry, you just cut your deer meat up, or pork, whatever, in a little bit smaller pieces. So I've already got, this bag's got the smaller pieces already in it. So we're gonna lay these out in the crock pot here. And I said they were smaller, I've got two in here. I'm gonna cut these up and make them a little bit smaller real quick. All right, so I went ahead and I made these a little bit smaller. So we'll cook a little bit quicker because I've only got about six hours till dinner time. So now we've got our spices here and we're just gonna kind of sprinkle them all on there. Get them good and mixed up here. And that's quite a bit of spice, but you gotta have a little spice in your life. And nothing in there is gonna be hot, so that's the main thing. So we're gonna just take this, you can take a spoon, I'm just gonna use my hands and just kind of toss the deer meat, get the spice covered all the way around the deer meat. And we're gonna go ahead and cut this thing on low and it should take about six hours or so with these smaller pieces like this. So, and all of this is gonna, pretty much you wanna cook it until it starts to break apart and you can pretty much pull it apart with a fork. That way you'll have nice tender meat for your tacos, nachos, whatever you wanna do. Water just to keep things I'm trying to get this thing going quick so the warmer the water the better so we'll put about a cup of water in there if you don't want to go out and buy these spices or you don't have them you can just use taco seasoning and go for pretty much the same ratio a pack of taco seasoning for a pound of meat and you should be good but the lime zest i think will definitely help along with the garlic and i'm going to go ahead and cut this thing on high for about an hour and then i'll cut it back down to low and let it cook on low for the rest of the time so I've got it covered up and ready to go. If you haven't used these bags, these things are amazing. I definitely recommend those things. They save a lot of cleaning because these crock pots, when they cook them for six hours, it gets all stuck to it around the sides. They're your lifesaver. Well, it's been about six and a half hours and it's not quite fall apart tender yet, but it's about dinner time and ooh, I'm ready to eat. So we're gonna go ahead and chop some up and get ready to plate it and put it on some tacos. All right, well, I just took two forks and pulled it apart, and it actually pulled apart really nice. And uh, we'll let the rest of it cook for about another hour, but for the most part, it's pretty well done. I took a little sauce and threw a little bit of the juice and poured over it. Mmm, that's really good. I can definitely taste the lime zest. So we're going to go ahead and make some tacos. All right, so we're going to go ahead and finish this off with some guacamole, and I'm going to show you how I make mine. So we're gonna go ahead and put about three fourths of a lime in it. And this is about three avocados. I know this is a little weird, it's from different parts of the world, but it actually goes together really nice, the Creole seasoning. So we're gonna put a good little portion of that in there. And now some chihuahua. Now for some sour cream. And so we're probably gonna put about two tablespoons here. Yeah, that should be about right. Now this is fresh homemade salsa, and you can use whatever. And 
That should be about right. I mean, it's already got onions and peppers mixed in, tomatoes, so that's gonna be real good. I'm just gonna stir this up. All right, I got it all mixed up now. Mm, it don't get any better. And that's, that's about the best salsa you'll ever have. And I know that doesn't quite seem like it would go together, but man, it does it. Well, let's go ahead and put a little bit on the tacos here. To eat. I gotta go ahead and get a little bit of this on there. So I got on some corn tortillas, and they're good. I don't want too much. I don't like too much guacamole on my tortillas, but just enough. I actually like it a little bit better with chips. And that's gonna be good. Alright, well, it's time to eat. So I hope you like the video. And definitely try the guacamole. I love that guacamole. I can't stand guacamole from a Mexican restaurant. It's just kind of bland, doesn't have any flavor. And get you a deer, go ahead and try these out. And uh, we'll see you next time. Please subscribe.